Harold Chalanza from Fresno, California. Um, been doing crop insurance for approximately 15 years now. I don't think there's a crop that cannot be grown here in the Sound King Valley. Sound King Valley is the ag capital probably of the world where we grow your wheat, your barley, your rice. We grow corn for silage. There's grapes, all kinds of table grapes, raisins, peaches, plums, all your tree fruits are grown here. Your cantaloupes, your watermelons, your onions, corn for market, bell peppers, tomatoes, fresh market and processing tomatoes, garlic, pistachios, almonds, walnuts, pecans, cotton. Cotton was a big player out here on the in our Sound King Valley until the price started dropping, growers started to diverse into more permanent crops. The major perils that we face out here would be lack of water would be the first one. Late freezes in the spring can affect a lot of the crops. Heat will be a peril in the summer times on tomatoes. We lose the tree fruit due to hail, but we don't get that much. A big believer in AGR that it does work and it's there to keep the grower at a flat line instead of these real spikes that go into the market. If agriculture were to die out here in the Sound King Valley, so would probably most of Fresno. We're not um, a computer technology sector here in the Sound King Valley. We're agriculture. And so we need crop insurance of some sort, like I said, the revenue products to protect them that are providing jobs to keep this economy going here in California. So by the cuts that they're trying to make to it, you know, you're trying, whether you're trying to eliminate it or you're trying to, to tighten up the belt someplace, but ultimately that money that's paid out to these growers is creating jobs and keeping people in business and keeping the economy going in here in California. And this is just not here in the South Korea Valley. It's cross country. Whether you're in Des Moines, whether you're in Texas, I don't care where you're at, if you're in an agricultural community, that community is driven by agriculture. Our farmers here in the United States grow a tremendous product. And if we would buy locally instead of trying to import the stuff from other countries all the time, we've got the best products here that are grown. If we could support our local growers and protect them and keep them in business, I think our products here in the United States are just going to get better and better.